Hi submarine friends. Well, I've been working on the exhaust system and I made some parts over the weekend. I like to machine these parts. Obviously, like this bottom flange, this bolts to the exhaust manifold. Now, I could just take a cutting torch, piece of plate, cut the part out, grind the edges, make it look half ass but this looks nice. I really like this. Looks nice and professional. Fits this perfectly. I machined all that. Then I made the top coupler. So this one here is actually two pieces and it bolts. This piece welds to, to the top and then you can just unbolt it with a gasket in between. And then this just clamps, this clamps on for the time being. I may weld it, but I'm not, I don't want to commit to that yet until I have a nice working system. So then this pipe, which you can see is more than a 90, welds on here. And the reason I want it to be more than a 90 is probably kind of obvious, and that's, I don't want water to be able to back up and down into the manifold, so I want a downhill. So this comes up and then goes downhill. And then at this point, at this connection point, I'll put a T, well, probably just a little bit past it because the rib is right here in the south. So I'll have a T intersection here with the drain in the bottom and a small reservoir. Not much water can get into this. I shouldn't say that, you know, they said the Titanic couldn't sink, but it's unlikely water will get in there because the drain hole for the, for the exhaust stack is right above the, um, the valve. In fact, the valve body will be drilled. So, you know, there might be oh, a couple tablespoons of water, but the system can handle that because if a tablespoon or two of water comes into this system, as soon as you fire up the engine, it's just gonna get blasted out. So I'm not worried about that at all. And this is galvanized pipe, so I'm not worried about it at all. I may have to upgrade to stainless steel because I'm wrapping this and it may not be able to handle the heat when it's wrapped. But you I mean, if I had a piece of stainless steel pipe here now, I would, I would use it, but I don't. So, but I want to get it built and tested. So I'm going to carry on. I can replace this real easy. So that's what I'm up to so far. So anyone interested in, in watching another submarine build, check out James Franklin's submarine project in the UK. It's called Guernsey Submarines. And he's building just a beautiful little submarine. He's built another submarine prior to this one. Absolute work of art. You should check it out. And he shows every detail of the machining, the welding, all of that. My channel is more about building a diesel submarine and not so much on, on you know, I'm not a machinist. I'm not a welder. I'm, not, I'm just, I'm pretty good at most of it, but not great at any of it. So he's really good at machining and stuff. So check him out. And that's Guernsey Submarine. Anyways, that's where we're at. Ciao.